fill your cup before pouring into everyone else's or, or maybe it's put your oxygen mask on first and then your child's. But women, especially working women, apparently do the exact opposite, often taking care of those that they love before prioritizing themselves. Dietitian Meriden Zerner with the Cooper Clinic joins me this morning as a dietitian, a health expert, and as a mom. I know that you know, and I know you do this too, even though you know that maybe it's not always the best thing for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're in good company. Uh, yeah. One survey out of the UK showed 80% of all working women were struggling with some kind of a uh, a mental health condition, a, a, a stressor, a major stressor. And, and the challenge is, of course, these over time absolutely manifest into things like diagnosable anxiety and ADHD issues, depression. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of folks, women in particular, working women in particular, are struggling. I think there's just, I mean, the to-do list just keeps growing. So lack of sleep is an issue. I know the workload's an issue, um, and that can lead to poor eating habits, serious illness. I mean, it, it seems like a lot of people, especially women who have a lot on their plate, are, are suffering from one health problem or another, right? What are we to do? Well, appreciate first that, that we're all in this together, truly, genuinely, and that we can we can kind of learn from the science, which is when we're under stress, right? It fires the fight or flight response. That's our sympathetic nervous system. And here, um, you know, this is where cortisol is released. This is hormonal. You're going to find fat uh, storage in the body that we don't want. Um, high blood glucose over time, blood sugar over time. But we have this balancing agent. It's the parasympathetic system, and this is rest and digest, right? So if we can't remove our stressor, work or kids, right? They're not. My kids aren't going anywhere soon, which is good. <laughs> um, we can work to balance the equation over here. So a little bit of movement, and I do mean like an exercise snack, like give yourself permission to take just the 10 minute walk today. That can help to balance the equation. We can tap into a slightly better diet. If we can move toward the Mediterranean style diet, they've studied it, where we get a 32% decrease in depressive sy sy symptoms rather. Um, it could look like, hey, look, just get the apple slices when you're doing the quick drive through, you know, on the Saturday, you know, soccer tournament. So adding color really helps to create an anti-inflammatory effect. Some of these disease issues that we're seeing are rooted in inflammation. So better hydration, whatever you can do to add color, which adds fiber, that actually helps the stress response. Okay, multivitamin. I've talked with you about this. There are so many out there. What should I be, t do I even need one? Or is there like, do I need to know what it is that I need to then know which multivitamin I need? <laughs> Well, you will hear a lot of experts say, oh, a multivitamin, you know, it does not really do anything. Maybe it just goes out and most of it goes out. However, when we think about the bulk of the nation, um, where we're just not getting in a lot of the brightly colored fruits and vegetables, for me and our position at the Cooper Clinic is that this provides a certain amount of balance and kind of a just in case on any given day when you don't happen to get in enough magnesium or calcium or just the base, this can cover you. And that's really what it's intended to do, just simply bring you out of deficit. So a good multi that has been well-reviewed, maybe it has a USP seal on it. It's as specific as possible. It's for you as a woman. You know, when you get to the 50 plus space, uh, Lauren, you would look for the 50 plus. Um, and, and you take that whenever you can. And please move toward that more whole diet at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. And breathe. And breathe. There's such power to learning a few simple <laughs> breathing techniques. There's research on it that intentional deep breath. You can do it in the car before pickup. You can do it right before bed. Um, very simple. But again, it lowers the stress response. And then we're really better able to navigate all that comes with the stress response that does lead to, to significant um, mental health challenges. Yeah, and ask for help. Don't forget to ask for help if you need it. Meriden Zerner, thank you so much for helping us out today. Appreciate it with the Cooper Clinic. Be well. All right.